I've tried multiple tools to send bulk messages to my customers, but I often face issues like messages not getting delivered, my number getting blocked, and errors with WhatsApp web not approving my business because those tools weren't verified by WhatsApp. However, I recently found a new tool called WA Notifier. It's verified by WhatsApp and allows me to send unlimited messages to my customers. So it's safe, easy to set up, compatible with WordPress and has good support in case you face any errors. To start using WA Notifier, you need to create an account first. So go to the description, click this link and you'll be redirected to this page. Make sure that you have these five things before you start. Firstly, you need to have a new phone number that isn't already registered on WhatsApp. Second, you must have a registered business along with some valid supporting documents. The third one, you need to have a business website with a privacy policy page. You'll also need a payment method like a credit card or debit card. And lastly, you'll need to get your WhatsApp Cloud API credentials so that you can start sending bulk messages. Before I move on to the next part, this is not an ad. Since the video is about website, so I'm guessing you are running a website too. And if you are using WordPress, then you should definitely try this free speed plugin called Airlift. If you put your website URL here, it will boost your website speed up to 90%. Cool, right? So try it here and let me know if you like it. So on the website, create your account by clicking create free account. Here, enter your details, then click on sign up. Next, you're going to receive a link in your email to verify your new account. Click on the link to activate your account. Then this will open a page that says your account has been activated. Click on the I understand and accept button and it will lead you to this page. Here we will go down and click on connect using API credentials. Okay, so now that you have successfully created your account on W Notifier, you need to get your WhatsApp Cloud API credentials. To do that, you need to log into your Facebook developer portal and create an app. So log into your Facebook account and visit the developer portal page. Click on my apps, click on create app and choose your business portfolio. Then click on next. Now, instead of choosing any of these options here, I'll simply select other and then click on next. From this page, you need to choose business as your app type. Click next. Here, choose a name for your app and click on create app. Once that's done, you need to add a product to your app. As you're going to use WhatsApp to send bulk messages, click on set up here. Now, in the next step, you need to set up your phone number in WhatsApp Cloud API. To do that, click on start using the API, scroll down and click on add phone number. Here, you need to enter your business name. So I'll type in my name, then put in my business website URL and select my country. Then click on next. Now click here and choose business category. I'm going to go with shopping and retail. Click next. Now add a phone number that is not registered with WhatsApp. Once done, click next. Here you need to enter the verification code that you have received in your phone. I'll put it down and then click next. Now, if you click here, you can see that we have successfully added our phone number. Next, we need to configure our webhooks. To do that, go to configuration here and click on edit. Here, we need to enter our callback URL and verification token, which you're gonna get from here. Let's first copy this URL and paste it here like this. Next, copy the verification token and paste it here. Then click on verify and save. Next, click on manage and it shows this pop-up. Now, you need to subscribe to all these fields. This will fully integrate your app with WA Notifier. So let's check these boxes one by one and click done. There you have it. You have successfully configured your webhooks. Next, we will see how to generate permanent access token. For that, you need to first create a user. So click on app dashboard and then business settings. Go to system users, then click on add, then I accept and then done. Next, enter the name of your system user, 
select the admin under system user role. Once done, click on create system user. Again, I'll click accept and then done. After you have successfully created a system user, you need to click on assign assets. This will open a new pop-up. Click on apps. Here, select the app that you've created. Enable the manage app option and click on save changes. Once you're done, click on generate token and you will have your permanent access token. Copy this token and paste it on your notepad so that you can use it later. Finally, click on OK. You'll also need to add a payment method before you can start sending messages. To set that up, go to Accounts and click on WhatsApp Accounts. Under Payment Settings, you need to click on Add Payment Method. Choose your currency and here enter your card details. Click on Save. You can also go ahead and add your business info here. Before you can get your app live, you need to add your website's privacy policy URL. So go to this page and add your privacy policy URL. Then select the category and click on Save Changes. Now enable this button to change your app mode to live. Once you've done that, go to API Setup, then click here and make sure that your phone number is showing here. You can see that we've got our API credentials. So we'll just go ahead and add our credentials to our WA Notifier account. Copy the phone number ID and paste it here. Let's do the same with the WhatsApp business account ID. Then copy the permanent access token and paste it here. Finally, click on validate and proceed. And this will take you to your WA Notify dashboard. You can start sending bulk messages from your dashboard. Just go to contacts, then click on add new. Here, you can enter the contact details of your customers one by one. You can also upload the contact details of all your customers at once using Google Sheets. Simply click on import export. And on this page, click on how to. You can use the simple import sheet to upload your contact details. So click here and it will open a Google Sheet with some sample data. Go to File and make a copy of this document. Now, I have my own contact details sheet here. So I'll just copy and replace the sample data. Next, you need to download this Google Sheet in CSV format. Go to File, then Download and choose .csv. Now upload the file to your contacts in WA Notifier. Click here to choose and upload the file. And then click Import CSV. So there you go. You have successfully added your contacts. Now let's create a message template that you can use to send bulk messages to all your customers. Go to Message Templates and then click Add New. From here, you can create your message template. First, you need to choose a name for your template. I'm going to call it mm, new sales offer. Make sure that you keep the category as marketing. You can choose any type of header you want. Since I'm going to use an image, I'm going to select media and keep the media type as image. Next, click here, select the image you want and upload it. Now, you need to add some content to this box. I'll paste here the content I have prepared for my message. Here you can see a preview of the message that you just created. You can also add a call to action button from down here. I'm going to add a CTA button that says mm, visit website and then paste the website URL here. Now click on submit and it will send a template to WhatsApp for review and approval, which will take about 24 to 48 hours. Once you've created your message template, you'll need to create a notification for sending bulk messages. To do that, go to notifications and then add new. Enter a title for your notification. Keep the notification type as marketing. Then select the context to whom you want to send the notification. Now here, you also have the option of sending the notification now or schedule it for later. I'm going to choose now. From here, you can select the message template that you want to send. Finally, click on save and send to send the bulk WhatsApp messages. Now to check the status of these messages, go to your WA Notifier dashboard and click on notifications. 
From here, you can check the status of the messages you just sent. If you click on analytics, it will give you an overview of the number of messages that you have sent and those that have been delivered and read. To check whether you have received any replies from your customers, simply go to inbox and from here, you can check all your messages and replies. You can even chat with your customers from here and answer their queries. Okay, now let's say a customer bought a product from your store and you need to send him a transactional message. To do that, you need to go to your dashboard and under your name, you'll find the integration option. Here, you can find different platforms like WordPress, WooCommerce, Contact Form 7 and so on. You can simply select the platform you want to integrate with and send your transactional messages directly from there. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this 3 minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.